Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, Texas on Monday, April 23rd, and welcome to our video commentary. Well, today we're going to talk about the Pompeo confirmation. It's happening right now. In fact, there may be a vote happening in the U.S. Senate uh, this afternoon where the Foreign Policy Committee will make its recommendation no matter which way it goes. It still has to go to the U.S. Senate or can go to the U.S. Senate for the, for the final vote. Look, I think this is really a disgrace, what we're watching. Uh, what we're watching is Senate Democrats basically going after Mr. Pompeo, not on questions of whether or not he's qualified. I mean, by any objective standard, uh, Mr. Pompeo, Mike Pompeo, is qualified. He was a very serious member of the House uh, involved in national security. He was appointed about a year ago as director of the CIA, and he comes to the, the position, the position of Secretary of State, with all of the objective credentials that we have voted for in the past for someone in that position. So what we're really seeing is Democrats in many ways engaging in the first debate, the first presidential debate of 2020, where you have Democrats trying to outdo each other as to who's going to go further to the left. And it's really, really a disgrace. This man is qualified. This man should not be turned down because some Democrats oppose his position, let's say, on same-sex marriage or gay sex or whatever. That's not what these confirmations are for. Uh, we have elections to settle those issues. These confirmations were never intended to be about uh, political differences. They were intended to be about the qualifications of the individual. And as I said before, by any objective standard, Mike Pompeo is more than qualified to be Secretary of State. But there's a larger issue here, and I, and I think a lot of Americans agree with me on this. I think a lot of people are getting sick and tired of everything in Washington being about politics. Look, we had an election in 2016. I understand some people don't want to accept the, the election. I know some people are angry about the election, but we had an election. We're going to have another one in November, and then we're going to have another one in 2020. And that's where you take your policy differences to the election and present them to the voters. But I think it's insane. It's insane for the president of the United States of either party to nominate someone and have all of these debates all about politics, nothing about whether or not the person is qualified or not, uh, to have all of these debates uh, that have nothing to do with the position he's being you know, uh, nominated for. And, and I think it's, it's something that the Senate is going to have to come to terms with. Uh, the Senate was supposed to be, you might say, the more serene of, of the political bodies. Uh, it was created. That's the reason they're the ones who confirm. That's the reason they're the ones who do the treaties. But when you watch something like this, you really begin to wonder, you know, what is going on in, in the U.S. Senate when you have these kinds of sideshows about, you know, Mr. Pompeo and his views on traditional marriage or same-sex marriage. First of all, it's already legal in the United States for people of the same sex to get married. I mean, there, that, that was decided by an opinion of the Supreme Court three years ago. So why are we even having uh, this debate uh, three years later? It's just absolutely insane for us to be having uh, this uh, particular debate. But I think there's a larger debate, too, and I think most Americans agree with me and get really turned off when they see these, uh, these confirmations. There's a larger question here is, I think the President of the United States is entitled to having the people that he wants. Now, if you disagree on a policy standpoint, well, you can do something about that, but not in this, in this confirmation, not in this confirmation. If there's an ethical problem, a moral problem, uh, something that uh, should derail the nomination, well, that's one thing. But when you get into policy differences, I think it makes Washington look awfully ugly, and frankly, many of these Democrats look awfully small uh, with the kinds of things that they're saying about Mike Pompeo. So I don't know what's going to happen today. I, I hope that he passes. I hope that he goes to the Senate floor. And hopefully there are some Senate Democrats in red states who understand uh, that it would be better for them to vote for Mr. Pompeo. And this thing could move on. Uh, and we can allow President Trump to govern. Th this constant politicization of everything is frankly not good for the country. This is not good for the country. Mike Pompeo is very qualified to be Secretary of State. There's no reason to have a debate about gay sex when we're talking about the diplomacy of the United States. I think some of these Democrats ought to be ashamed of themselves for the things that they are, they're bringing up. Thank you for watching. We have all of these over at YouTube. We have them on my Twitter, and we have them on my blog. Bye-bye, everybody.